Hi, I'm Ethan. I got Josh and Brandon. We're from Ford Social and we're here with 1552. First, can you tell us a little bit about the company 1552? Well, we are a company that uh, was based in Virginia back in 1996 and uh, over the years we've just gotten involved with pretty much any kind of car enthusiast brand and uh, we hooked up with Ken Block for the Gymkhana 4 and Gymkhana 5 series and now we do pretty much a little bit of everything and uh, we're just basically enthusiasts ourselves. We just, we just like working with cars. Great, okay, well obviously the reason we're here is to show the Trackster version of the Focus ST that 1552 is modified. Uh, I'd like to know, what's your favorite thing about this car? I just like how wide it is. I love, I love that part. Um, seeing our wheels out to the very edge. Uh, the flares that we have are actually off a real race car. They're legit. They're from the Chinese Touring Car uh, Championship, uh, an actual Focus. The team sent us an extra set for us to use. We've, we've trimmed them a bit to fit the road car and everything, but uh, without a doubt, I would say just how wide the car is, is is what gets me going. Okay, so you mentioned the wheels. Can we go around here and get a shot of those? I have a Focus ST, and I would love to have wheels like that on my car. Where can I get them? Uh, you can actually order them right off of our website, 1552.us. Uh, basically, these are 18 by 9.5, so these are much wider. Uh, well, we, we do have 9.5 available, but uh, it's kind of tough to fit these on a standard ST. Uh, but we do have 18 by 8.5, which will bolt right up, and that's actually the exact same wheel that Ken Block uses on his Fiesta. Um, well, HFHV is race car. Uh, so it's, yeah, they bolt right up, same bolt pattern, everything like that. All you do is get in touch with us. So, obviously, the back of this car is slightly different than our stock STs. So can you just explain, it looks like you guys did a lot of work back here. Yeah, I mean, as uh, I guess, at, like, like, like Brad said, we're enthusiasts as well. Um, this is what we love to do. So it's, uh, it's, you know, we did what any enthusiast would do. Um, you know, we said, hey, what's the coolest rear diffuser we can find? And that was, of course, a Ford product. Um, and uh, basically kind of just blended the RS parts with the ST, which, Looks like it, you know, is really easy to fit and everything by the way everything fits here, but it's actually quite difficult. Um, the, the wing is probably about 160 pieces of plastic uh, put together. Wow. <laughs> uh, it's actually, um, I guess, shortened. You know, everything was basically cut and actually narrowed the whole wing. Um, the actual sides were all blended and then blended to a factory wing, fit the third brake light. Uh, it's it's actually. Uh, Pretty heavy. There's, I don't even know how many hours are in that wing, but everything is 100% plastic that you see here. So I mean, uh, the rear bumper, it's not going to be falling apart anytime soon. There's no fiberglass or anything. So it's plastic on plastic, and this is about as OEM as you possibly can get uh, with using a Ford part on a Ford. Um, so it's, we're pretty, pretty happy with the way it turned out. I, I think it uh, definitely gives the aggressiveness of the RS, and I think a lot of people are always wondering, well, what's you know, what's this new Focus going to look like as an RS? Well. You know, to a certain degree, I think we kind of hinted at certain things, um, but uh, at the same time, this is kind of our rendition of, of what the uh, what an aggressive, uh, you know, weekend warrior should look like. I noticed the interior looks, looks pretty cool. We've got some racing seats and different steering wheel and stuff. So if you guys can just kind of give us an overview of everything that everything you've done custom here. Basically, this right here is a, a Sparco steering wheel um, that we actually worked in collaboration with Sparco um, to offer. Um, we are going to be offering our own steering wheels and uh, motorsport accessories through Sparco. Um, so this right here, as you can see, has the, the orange top. It's got a 1552 horn button. Um, and then, uh, you know, other than that, we've got the Sparco pedal set. Um, we've done our own custom shift boot here to match the uh, blue stitching on the Recaro seats. Uh, the Sparco harnesses. Um, the Sparco harnesses are also attached here to uh, the rear quick release harness bar. It's a very fun, very versatile car. You kind of run make this kind of uh, you know an all-in-one. You know, um, it does have the Ford Racing um, short shift in it. Um, it's right here in the interior. Um, I think that's uh, that's about it. We do have some more plans um, here after the show. Do a few more details in the interior, but as you can see right now, it's. Um, pretty heavily modified um, in terms of just the details that we have so I think one thing that we haven't mentioned yet is the hood vents on this car I think they look pretty cool color match to, to match the uh, performance blue of the car are those functional uh, they are actually they're basically heat extractors so basically you know uh, as we have air coming in yeah we're using the factory RS pieces to extract the heat so. well, this is Ethan and Brandon and Josh from Ford Social we like to uh, thank 1552 for showing us this Trackster 
Looks like an awesome car. We're excited to see some of these parts get available for our cars.